Absolutely massive for the club to be part of the community. Pollock, like many football clubs around the, the country, have existed for a long, long time, almost like an island within the community, separate from it. I think that model no longer works. I think going forward, it's vital that the club and clubs like Pollock form links with all parts of the community. We can't exist in a bubble anymore. We have to be part of the community that we um, serve and the community that comes to support us. We are involved in a number of things and we, we try to expand that range of things all the time. Obviously our main link with the community is through the through Academy and I'll come to obviously talk about that. Um, but we've also been involved, one of the things that we're very proud of is that um, we support the southwest of Glasgow Food Bank and we have an annual collection. Uh, this year, despite the lack of games in December, um, we had fans coming down on a Saturday when there were no games to donate bags of foodstuffs for the, the food bank pre-Christmas. It was tremendous. We'd, we gathered about 65 bags of food and that mirrors what we've done in the last couple of years. So we're doing things like that. We're also involved with different partnerships um, with uh, the Academy, obviously, but Newlands Junior College as well, which is a, a school for uh, kids that probably don't fit into mainstream school and we've arranged for facilities for them at Corker Hill at the Academy and also give them a chance to do work experience on a Saturday here in Maxty. The Academy's probably been the best thing to happen to Pollock in, in, in years. Obviously our first team, our, our professional team are the, the peak um, of, of Pollock sporting achievements if you like but as far as community and, and sport for all and football for all the Academy uh, has done tremendous work since it started about five or six years ago. It really is a brilliant story and we were all delighted at Pollock um, to share in the praise that uh, UEFA President and uh, SFA um, Chief Executive were giving to the Pollock family for what they'd done in the community. What, what they've done at the Academy is fantastic and, and it was absolutely great to see that recognition and people like Andy Elliott, they are hosting. Andy's done so much work for the Pollock Academy I can't begin to explain it. I mean, he does this as a part-time, as we all do, part-time unpaid volunteer. Um, and his sister as well, Jane Lavery. Um, Jane was recognised for her efforts as well. And uh, there's so many great people at the Academy doing great work for making football available and accessible to all. We're very proud that the, um, there's girls and ladies teams, as well as the, the boys teams, and the, you know, right up to under-21 level in the males. The under-13s won their, under-13 girls won their league last season. And... Uh, as someone connected to Pollock, that gives me as much pleasure as, as Pollock winning the West of Scotland Cup, which we did last year. So it's success at all levels we want and for all. We have a disability group um, at the academy as well, and uh, over 35s, and even uh, walking football for the over 50s, which I'm looking forward to, to joining. Uh, so so at the, the academy, it really is an all-round community effort. And uh, at Pollock, obviously, we welcome, we welcome everyone to Pollock. Um, even our opponents, and uh, we, we look forward to expanding the diversity of our, of our football fan base. We're very fortunate, I think, at Pollock to have a lot of female fans as well, uh, which is terrific. Uh, so we're hoping to uh, make sure that we welcome Pollock fans from wherever they come from. Well, for any academy, it's, it's, it's the life, life and soul of, of, of the blood of the academy. The, many, the more people that you get involved, the better. Uh, we are very inclusive, uh, we would accept um, anyone at any age, any gender to, to, to be in our, our academy. Our academy in the last uh, five years has just grown from strength to strength. We have something like 500 people involved now, registered players. We cater from many kickers right up to the under 21s. Uh, we have boys and girls playing at all different levels. We have um, a access for disabled um, footballers to play as well. So um, getting the community involved is important because Pollock is a community club. Well, to have somebody like the UEFA president turn up at your doorstep at your, at your academy was an exciting time. 
and it obviously put us on the on the map for a, for a little while. Our Twitter feeds and our Facebook tweets, uh, hu- hu- the, the biggest hits that we've had so far. Obviously, we featured in the local press and local news, and all that does is just promotes a positive story of the academy, which we're all kind of grateful for. So to have someone like that turn up at your door is just just, just great fun. I think he was really impressed. So. It was a really proud moment for everybody involved in the academy. I think it's fantastic that Pollock put so much drive, energy, and vigour into get out there, you know, supporting particularly youth football, you know, and giving young people that opportunity to train, to play. And I think for the community as a whole, it's fantastic to see you know the club based here in Newlands actually growing. Uh, you know, the club been more successful and the club also having that outreach to the next generation because it means that it's not just something that will be here for you know five, ten, twenty years. It's actually something that will then get another generation of supporters as well as players and it contributes in general you know to uh, you know better fitness in the community, you know, more sporting opportunities, particularly somewhere here which is very mixed socially. The crowds here every week, every second week are just fantastic and uh, that really does help motivate the players. And I guess I grew up in the south side myself and Pollock was always a team I'd heard of and I was always aware that they were really were like had a great kind of loyal support. They were well followed. And I guess that kinda links into youth development as well, that young boys growing up who will come to Pollock games, watch Pollock, they will want to get involved in the academy and ultimately that will only benefit the first team. Vital. That's really important. Um, even more so for the level that I'm operating at as the head coach at the under nineteens. Uh, at Pollock we have an under 18s, an under 19s and an under 21s that work quite closely and linked together and we are very much uh, involved in the first team setup. At Newlands Field here today we've got two of our players who are playing or will possibly feature in the game today so that just shows you how that's working um, and that the manager Tony here um, sees that the quality players that we have and gives them the opportunity to play at this level. The ambitions of the academy is, if I'm being honest, They've done so much hard work and it's looking great already, but there's so much more to do. And do the best thing is they're not standing still. They are, they're, they're, they're trying to progress, they're trying to find better ways to bring the boys on and different techniques. And this, us joining, us joining in a junior club, you can see the pathway's there. It's great, it's actually fantastic. Um, I think what they're going to do next is they're going to build on their academy that they've got now, make it a bit bigger. And then I think what they'll do is you'll start to see players coming into the first team more and more and more because they're training with us all the time, younger boys. And I think what will happen is one day I'll be coming to pay my money to watch one of them play, which that, that's what everybody aspires to. So one day I'll be paying the money to come and watch Paul and one of the boys that I coached. That's, that, that's a dream. That's what everybody's looking for. I was proud because I was working very hard, you know. As soon as I heard that there was a link between the 19s and the first team, you know what I mean? Like, that was my objective, is to play for them. So as, as soon as I got that, you know what I mean? I was, I, was, I was proud and then it also opens the door for the other players to, you know what I mean, to get a step up as well. So I was, I was actually really proud, I. I mean, throughout the season, we've uh, been gradually promoting players uh, into the, kind of, the first team pool and they've been training throughout the year. And I think it's clear to see that when the likes of Senna earlier on in the season and uh, Scott, just recently there, stepping up, that they've done fantastically well. I mean, especially Scott, the most recent one, I mean, a real kind of high-pressure game, Scottish Cup. Really, for Pollock, you can't really get much bigger than that, and I felt we coped fantastically well, and he also kept a clean sheet, which is important to a goalkeeper, and for me as a defender, I was really pleased for him as well. Uh, well, I joined last year, and uh, it was through training. Uh, I got offered the chance to train with the junior team, and I've been there training for a year, so it gave me a good experience of getting to know the players and playing up to the standards because it's a very big leap up and the speed of play is really good so it's just really good preparation for it. Uh, it was a great experience, it was great having it, for being at Scottish Cup it's a big game to be for my debut but I felt confident and uh, it was good to have a keep a clean sheet and have a few good saves, well especially a few camera saves for it anyway.